No ban on abortion at any point for any reason by any method. All right. Okay. In Judaism, mm -hmm. abortion is permitted, and where the pregnant person's life is at stake, it's required because the health and well-being of the pregnant person comes first. Okay. Jamie. <laughs> a little more complicated. <laughs> Bad news. Well, let's bear in mind that what I'm about to say is a teaching created by men who are ostensibly celibate, mm -hmm. who have no inroads or connection to the lives of women because they do not have wives, they do not have daughters. Great start. Yeah. And the Catholic Church teaches that in almost every circumstance, abortion is murder. Is it in the Bible? No. Shalom, shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, the bonus to my elders and apostles, the great millstone men of well. Minotaur says, Truth, peace, and blessings to the elect, the nation of Israel. And Lord willing, the title of this lesson will be, Is It in the Bible? Question mark. Because, you know, uh, the nigga woman, uh, Taraji P. Henson, posted on her Instagram a video of these women talking about, um, you know, is abortion permitted in their religion you had a muslim woman uh, a so-called you know jew and amalekite woman and you had a woman that was there representing the bible which looked to me like uh, a woman that might have been uh you know looked like she wasn't really into men but nonetheless they asked her if it was in the bible she said no and you know us being defenders of the gospel you know how dare you heathen take our words our scriptures so like not our words but the scriptures that was given unto us all right, and twist it and turn it and don't preach the true gospel. How about Shemi Al Shai? But it's okay because, you know, whether that woman was a heathen or not, she's not of the elect, man. And, and the elect, they know the scriptures and they know the truth about the Bible. So I'm going to keep it basic today, man. Is it in the Bible? Is abortion in the scriptures? Now, we have to we have to look at things through the spirit, man. All right. You have to come up on a level to, to understand the Bible. All right. Are you going to find thou shalt not smoke cigarettes in the Bible? No. But do we know that we're not supposed to do it? Of course we do. Why? Because the scriptures say that you're not supposed to destroy the temple of the Lord, which is your body. All right. That's one way that you know it. OK. Do the scriptures say, uh, 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 you know, if it's if it's not in there, does that mean that we can do it? Well, if it's something that's not pleasing to the Lord, whether it be you're destroying your own body or something like that, or you, you know you're not supposed to do it through the Spirit, man. All right? Now, is abortion in the Scriptures? Are you going to find thou shall not have abortions? No. But you know what you will find? Basics. This is Exodus 20 and 13. Thou shalt not kill. Now, does that mean, is that contradictory? Because killing homosexuals in the Bible was permitted. Now, is the Most High contradicting, contradicting himself? Of course not. The word there for kill, it really means murder, which the Hebrew word, I got it right here, it's ra taza, ra taza, ra taza, uh, I believe that's a cha, if I'm not mistaken. Ra taza chak, or ra taza cha, all right, which means to murder, slay, kill, all right, which means murder, to slay, premeditated. Not accidental as avenger, slayer, intentional participle, which it's basically you're not supposed to intentionally you're not supposed to intentionally kill or murder or premeditate murder. What is abortion? Premeditated murder. All right. You don't want to own up to what you did. You know, you live a whorish lifestyle. Not to say that all women that are trying to get abortions are being whores, but nonetheless, you're not supposed to kill. All right. That's killing because that's a life forming within you. Who are you to stop what the what the Lord uh, uh, makes happen? Because the Most High is the Father of Spirits, right? Right. So when you are killing a, a life that's growing inside you, you're murdering. So it is against the Bible. Okay. It is against the Scriptures. All right. Which you heathen. It's not for you heathen anyway, because you heathen like to do stuff like keep. Uh, you know. I'm not even gonna get into all that. But the point is, the heathen they do stuff like that. This is for the Israelite woman. All right, because the top people getting it is the nigga woman and the Latina women always getting ab abortions, man. Women are wicked. All right, that's murder. If you're doing that, you got to stop, man. You got to repent. Okay? 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Right. You're an Israelite. You're, you're, your body is supposed to be used to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not your own lust, not your own belly. You see, which is your own mind, your own fleshly lust. No, man. All right. Your body is supposed to be used to serve the Lord. All right. You're not supposed to be out here being a whore. All right. Then you get pregnant by someone you don't even know. You want to go get an abortion. Well, maybe if you wasn't participating in, 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 in sin. 
all right, and, 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 and participating in whoredoms, you wouldn't have to commit those sins, man, which is being, uh, uh, first off, you're committing adultery, all right, because, uh, um, you know, a woman, once she's been popped by a man, she technically belongs to that man. But unless you having sex with multiple men, multiple, multiple men, which that goes both ways because a man is not supposed to be having sex with other man's, another man's woman. All right. So what you're committing, you're committing sins. OK, and that's those are sins unto death. Right. And then uh, a consequence of that is you get pregnant. Now you want to commit murder. All right. Because you live that lifestyle. No, man, your, your, your body, your temple is supposed to be used to, used to serve you. How about Shemiel Shai, man? Final. That, that's it. That's what the scriptures say. All right? You know, talk about talking to you Israelites. Okay? Now, this is the last scripture I'm going to get. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Right? And what's bad? Committing murder. You're not supposed to uh, get abortions because why? That's a murder. According to the Bible, it is murder. All right. So to that uh, woman that said, is it in the Bible? And the woman answered, no. Yeah, it is. All right. Because you're not supposed to. Thou shalt not murder. OK. That's it. Point blank, period. All right. Ratazachak. All right. You're not supposed to murder. That's premeditated murder. Why? Because there's a life growing inside of your womb. That's life. You see, when you when you kill that, that's a murder. OK, no matter what anyone has to say about it, we we're not here to be politically correct. We're here to be biblically correct. All right. So a hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. All right. Because I did feel like I was ranting a little bit. But hey, nonetheless, edification did come out because is it in the Bible? Yeah, it is. And we're here to defend the word, man. We're here to defend this, the, the word given to us by our power. All right. And we're here to teach Israel the truth, which is the most important thing, man. To teach the elect of the nation of Israel the truth. So with that, I'll praise to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rukak, with the honors to my elders and apostles, a great millstone, men of the world, men of the truth, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.